Hi, welcome to our spring installment of NTV. Today is Friday, April 5th, 2019, and we have quite a show in store for you. Join us as we explore topics such as 7th grade Texas History Day, an update on the Outdoor Learning Center, coverage of last week's field trip to the zoo, and more. Thank you for joining us. I'm Trinity Larson. And I'm Kai Lawrence. And, and this, this is NTV. NTV. Last Friday, the 7th grade teachers plan and showcase yet another Texas History Day for all the 7th graders. From making their own butter to learning the trade of rope making, these 7th graders were able to experience a full day of hands-on learning. Elise Richardson captured the day's events and will share those with us now. This previous week on Monday, March 25th, the 7th graders had their annual Texas Day. This is a day filled with doing lots of things like making butter, making rope, learning about brands, playing games, seeing a longhorn, and much more. So we went around to see what these seventh graders were doing on this very educational day. Two weeks ago, 7th grade students went on a field trip to the Fort Worth Zoo for their science class. We have videos and pictures of the trip. We also have some interviews with students, chaperones, and employees that were there. Here's a quick peek into what that trip was like. What was your fav favorite animal at the zoo? My favorite animal at the zoo was the white tiger. Well, my favorite animal at the zoo was the giraffe. My favorite part about being at the zoo was to um, have fun with all my friends and um, eat some of the food. And my favorite animal is a turtle. 
This week, our 7th and 8th grade track teams closed out the season by participating in the district meets against all South Lake, Grapevine, Colleyville, and Coppell Middle Schools. Emily, Kendall, and Layla allow us to reflect on what a successful season it was for these athletes. The 7th grade district track meet was on Tuesday, April 2nd. Both the girls and the boys did a wonderful job. Let's have a small recap on how the track season was this year. Okay, so I'm in 200 meters, and last meet I got sixth place. I'm in the 2400, and this year I've run a 601 mile. My greatest achievement is actually making a team, and today I am running the 800 dash and triple jump. <laughs> As the school year is coming to an end and our North 8th graders prepare for their freshman year, they have chosen between going to the 9th grade center or New Tech High. Here we take a look at which school may be the better choice for you. First off, what does each school offer? CHS 9 offers a diverse selection of classes including on level, honors, GT, and AP classes. CHS 9 can also provide courses that specialize in fine arts and world languages. The guiding purpose of CHS 9 is for quote, all learners to achieve personal growth and emerge as future-ready learners who positively impact our world. Moving on, New Tech High offers honors and AP classes, as well as many different activities and clubs. According to the school's website, taking courses will propel you in the following skills. Knowledge, thinking, and collaboration. The guiding purpose of New Tech High is to, quote, empower learners as they pursue their passion, collaborate to solve a real-world problem, and practice leadership in their community. Now, we will take a look at what teachers and students think about the high schools. I'm going to CHS 9 because I don't like the project-based learning in New Tech. I'm going to New Tech because of the project-based learning and because it's a smaller environment and you get to have a closer connection with everyone who's there instead of um, just being thrown into the crowd. After your time at Middle School North or any of our middle schools, you have two options in Coppell ISD. You can go to the Coppell High School 9th grade campus, which just opened this year, or you can go to New Tech High at Coppell. Now, both schools are outstanding. Uh, they have a lot in common, and, but they do have some, some differences as well. Um, New Tech High at Coppell, or New Tech, is obviously a much smaller school, um, so you'll have probably smaller classes, less classmates, and I believe that most of the work they do is project or problem-based learning. So you'll be doing mostly collaborative projects throughout the year in each of your classes, working towards um, mastering the, the concepts required for that class. Uh, and at um, Coppell High School 9th grade campus, or CHS 9, you'll also have um, you know, very similar experiences collaborating with your classmates. Uh, there's a larger student body. Uh, at both schools, you can continue to participate in Coppell High School athletics and other extracurriculars. And so really, you can't go wrong at either place. It just depends on what kind of uh, an atmosphere and environment you're looking for. Either way, you're going to be part of the Coppell High School, Coppell Cowboy experience. Um, and they're really both outstanding schools. Whether you're going to see just learn or new tech, we want to wish all incoming nine graders good luck. And we hope that you're going to be happy at junior high school. The last few weeks before spring break, the school began construction on the outside learning area. When all the students came back from spring break, they were pleasantly surprised with the new outdoor learning area. 
Although we have just been informed that the outside learning area is not finished and the school has still more to add, let's go to Maya Martinez for more on this topic. Thank you, Zara. Dr. Axelson mentioned that the pavilion besides the track is going to be an outdoor learning area. This area will be an outside classroom that institute uses to give learners a more in-depth learning experience. The school still has plans to add on to this pavilion. They are talking about installing storage cabinets to the inside of the pavilion. The outside learning area is still under construction, so stay tuned for more MTV shows on this topic. These are pictures of the opening ceremony and all the students and staff members that were present at this momentous occasion. On March 26, 2019, of the last week, the school began construction on the second phase of the outdoor learning area. They added brick poles to make the pavilion stronger. The plan is to begin phase three by inserting storage cabinets. Everyone is excited for this new outdoor learning area, so stay tuned for more MTV shows on this topic. This is Maya Martinez and Zara Ahmad signing off. I'm Gavin. And I'm Bella. And today we're going to be interviewing people asking how they feel about the NFL offseason trades. And even a special guest interview, Salman Thomas. How do you feel about Odo Beckham Jr. being traded to the Browns? I think it's going to be good for them because they have Baker Mayfield as their quarterback. It's going to help him. How do you feel about Antonio Brown being traded to the Raiders? Well, I think the Raiders are going to be a really good team now because Derek Carr can, uh, is a really fast thrower, so Antonio Brown will be able to help him get a lot more touchdowns. How do you feel about OBJ getting traded to the Browns? Well, I like the Giants, so I really like watching him play. So I'm really sad that he went to the Browns. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? I think the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl because they have one of the best defenses in the league. Who else? The Chiefs. We were lucky enough to get an exclusive interview with NFL defensive end for the San Francisco 49ers, Solomon Thomas, on his opinion for the NFL trades. How do you feel about the rumors about the 49ers and the Vikings beginning trade talks for Xavier Rhodes? Um, I know nothing about that, actually. Um, I haven't heard anything about that or, or so. That's interesting, but that's just how the game is. There's always yeah. trade rumors about getting... New players, improving your team, it's all part of the business, all part of the game. Um, and another big trade, how do you feel about Ovo Buckham Jr. going to the Browns? I think that's a huge move for the Browns. Now they have two very, very good receivers who are threats in multiple ways. And they have a young team who seems very driven and they have a lot of energy going their way. So I think that's a great move for them. And I think they got the upper hand of the deal, which is yeah. Which their their GM should be proud of himself. Uh, and here's one that might involve you next season. How do you feel about Le'Veon Bell signing with the Jets? Um, you know, I think that I think that was a good move for the Jets. I don't know about Le'Veon. Um, I think he lost a year of his NFL life, and he's making about the same money he would have. So I understand there's a principle to what he was doing, but I just you know you just want you want to see players win, and I don't think he won. So yeah. Um, that, but that would be good for the Jets. He, he'll help them improve a lot. And lastly, who do you think the 49ers will play in the Super Bowl? I think in the Super Bowl, uh, you know, I'm trying to make sure I say this correctly because I want to make sure I say an AFC team um, or whatever, yeah. But I don't know because so, I would say, hmm, I'm guessing the Patriots. Yeah, you know? every year. You know, they're always there. They always have a great, great team, great, great regiment. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Solomon. All right. That's it? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, good luck, guys. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, there you have it, North. Thanks for joining us for our spring show. We hope that your weekend is safe and fun. We'll see you again on Monday. This, this is MTV signing off. off.